Hi, I'm Heidi. Hi, I'm Alan. And we're here today to talk to you about the Certified OpenStack Administrator, the COA. So Heidi, I think we better tell people what the COA is. Great idea, Alan. So Certified OpenStack Administrator is the first exam, and it's the first certification uh, developed and delivered by the OpenStack Foundation. And what it is, it's a hands-on test um, that demonstrates, that allows uh, OpenStack workers to demonstrate their skills um, operating and troubleshooting an OpenStack cloud using the command line tools and Horizon. So Heidi, why did we develop it? Uh, a couple of reasons. Um, first of all, if you look around here, there's a, a, you know, at the jobs board, there are a lot of jobs um, posted. And so there's a real uh, gap in OpenStack talent. And we wanted to give people who are interested in, in working in OpenStack uh, more a defined career path and a way to show people and demonstrate that they have the skill set to manage and operate a, an OpenStack cloud. On the flip side, we also wanted to give hiring managers a way to, when they look at candidates to compare them and to see um, you know, what types of skills candidates have. So if someone has the COA and someone doesn't, they might want to give that person preference because they know they have those skill sets that they're looking for. And then finally, um, with the ecosystem companies, we wanted companies in the ecosystem like SUSE or uh, Rackspace to be able to show customers and prospects that they have skilled teams and that they have talent on their team. So they can go to a customer and say, hey, listen, the people that you're working with are certified in OpenStack. So Heidi, so we launched this in Austin. Right. So it's been six months or so. Yeah. Who's taking the test? Well, all kinds of people are taking the test. We have 500 folks who've, well, actually over 500 now, who've taken the exam. We have 500 who are being scheduled now. And um, I mentioned Rackspace. Uh, Rackspace has over 100 internal Rackspacers, or Rackers, they call them, um, certified on OpenStack now. And they're moving, their, their goal is uh, 200 by the end of the year. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. That's great. So <laughs> I've been in the open source world for a while. And um, the question often comes up, what's the role of certification in the open source world? It's, it's very much prominent in the proprietary world, but is it any value in the open source world? And the question comes up, am I just not proving that I can pass an exam? Is this exam real? Yeah, well, it's, it's the only cert certification offered by the OpenStack Foundation. Um, if you have you know, skills in the real world, that's a great way to, uh, you know, if you're using OpenStack every day, you'll probably do fine passing the exam. Um, if not, if you're new to OpenStack, you'll probably want to take probably a training take course. A time, yeah, yeah. You'll probably take a training course and you know, get your skill set uh, you know, kind of up to par. Yeah. Maybe spend a little bit of time, uh, yeah. Okay, so practicing. the other criticism is open source is very innovative and very fast moving. So is technology moving too fast for this certification to have any value? Well, I think that's a good question for you. Um, you think it's a good one for me? Yeah. Okay. Um, I actually, so I hear that question a lot. And I actually think that's the reason to do certification. Because with technology changing so rapidly, people need to know and be able to validate that they have the experience and knowledge necessary to do the job. And as you pointed out, this is a, a proctored exam, so it's actually proving that you can do the day-to-day -day work, not just a pass a multiple guest test, right? Right. Um, so in this case, I think it's very, very relevant, even more relevant because of the speed of the technology. And, and I do want to add, too, that yes, the technology is changing quickly, but the COA is going to keep pace with the technology change. So uh, it's offered on the Liberty platform now. We'll update. The, uh, the actual release that it's offered on every two releases, so once a year, and then uh, the content on the exam will be updated every two years. So as OpenStack changes, um, you know, we won't change the exam with every small change, but, uh, but every two years, you know, as OpenStack changes, we'll uh, change the exam content so that it maps um, directly to the changes in the OpenStack software. I think that's a very good change rate. It gives time for people. They don't have to panic every year. Um, but it's frequent enough that it'll keep up with the technology change. Right. So I think it's a great pace. Right. Uh, let's see. So are you ready to take the test? I'm not ready to take the test, and that's actually a really good question. Who is ready to take the test, and are you ready? If you've attended an OpenStack Summit and you've seen some OpenStack talks, are you a candidate for the, for the OpenStack certification? 
The answer is no. The answer uh, is no. The answer is no. Uh, this is a this is a, a pretty rigorous test. Um, like I said, we recommend that you take some training if you haven't been working with OpenStack, and that you practice and uh, and work with it a little bit before you take the exam. Uh, you do get a free retake, so you can take it once and and identify maybe the places where you need to uh, kind of work on your skills and then take it again. And uh, but yeah, not. So that's good to know because I'm actually going to try it next week. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, yeah? yeah. Good for you. Good I'm, luck. Yeah. Good luck. Good huh? luck with that. So we'll so we'll see. So. Um, but yes, uh, uh, it, like you said, it's more for those that are actually doing the, the, those tasks day to day. Yeah. And for someone like me, I spend a lot of time at the summit, but that doing administrative tasks is not my day job. And so it's going to be a little tough. We'll see. And one of the questions I'm asked, as people are asking about it, is, will this change my life, passing the certification? And we think it will. Um, first of all, uh, when you're going into it for a job, you know, for a job interview, or uh, you're just being considered among, you know, compared to other candidates, it's going to help you stand out in that process. Um, we'll give you an icon to put on your LinkedIn for your family and friends to uh, <laughs> to admire, so you can get props from the community. Um, the kudos effect, huh? Yeah, for uh, you know, for companies that are out there competing with other companies, ecosystem companies, it's a way to um, it's a way to stand out um, in, in a, an evaluation process when you're talking to customers. Um, Alan Clark, you'll shake your hand. <laughs> I'll next, shake your hand. The next you take the COA. Summit. I'll come shake your hand. And uh, yeah. And, and I, I have I have a proposition. Yeah. So if let's say if the next summit, the first five people that come shake my hand and say they took the COA, how about we uh, give them a free tattoo in a prominent place? In a prominent for place for all of their friends and family for to admire and the community. I think that's great. I'm in. All right, I'm all right. in too. So next time, come see us. We'll got, we'll offer you the free tattoo. The free tattoo. It's got to be in a prominent place. <laughs>